Hi everyone, I'm Gary Williams. This is Ramblings for Sysadmin. Now in these videos, I like to pick a topic and ramble on about it. For this video, I want to ramble on about working from home and what people are saying about how it affects the career. It causes isolation and how it's really not good for people. Now I've got a few things I really want to say about this, but first I want to frame this whole working from home question in a different light. I want to frame it in the light of the cost for living crisis. Now I'm from the UK and I know this is affecting other countries, but in the UK we have inflation running at about 9%, likely to soon to be 10%, probably going higher. We don't know where it's going to stop. And the average salary in the UK is £26,000. Now you think about this, if you are earning £26,000 a year, where do you really want to put your money? Do you want to put it on your heating, your rent, food, or do you want to spend it on commuting to work? When you commute to work, all you're doing is you're changing one chair for another chair. That other chair just happens to be X miles away and you've got to pay for the privilege of doing that. Is it really a good idea to have people traveling all around the country, going into offices in the middle of a cost for living crisis? Wouldn't the money they spend on that commute be better spent by them in things they need to live? I think most companies can actually do their employees a huge favor by saying, do you know what? It's a cost for living crisis, save that money. We don't need you in the office. Now, let's take a look at what happened when we were in lockdown. When we were in lockdown, what happened to petrol prices? They dropped, they were 99p a liter. They were crazy low. If we promote working from home and we have as many people who are office bound working from home as possible, petrol prices won't go down to 99p a litre, but they'll go down significantly more. They will be lower than they are right now. And I think that's the most important thing here. So those people who really do have to commute for work, who do need to take the car, they should see lower prices at the pumps. Okay, yes, we've got to encourage the energy companies to pass that on, but come on, you know, this is all going to help. The other thing is it keeps a lot of cars off the road. So we save on CO2. Do you want to move green? There's your green policy right there, promote working from home. The other thing that we can do with uh, promoting working from home is we have empty offices. Don't we have a housing shortage? Why not convert the, how, uh, the offices into housing? There you go, you've just solved your housing shortage. We have all this space available that we don't use properly, or rather we have this space available that we use Monday to Friday, nine till five. That's crazy, you're changing chairs, you're going from this chair here to that chair there, for what? People talk about how being in the office promotes uh, your career. Well, how does it? Most companies have multiple offices around the world. Are you telling me that you've got to be in every single office to promote your career? Or is it just one office? If it's just one office, aren't you causing problems with those other offices? It, this argument doesn't stack up. Promotional prospects should be based on your performance. It should be based on what you do. It should be based on how you do it. It should be based on everything about you as an employee for that company. And these should all be measurable, you know, this should be specific, measurable, and all this kind of stuff. There's a term for that. But companies should be able to do that. They should know just how good or even how bad their employees are. And that's the other thing. So many people say, oh, working from home encourages you to be lazy. How? Does a company not monitor you know, like the amount of tickets you close, what you deliver? And if you are delivering what the company needs in two days and you take the next three days off, are you being lazy or is the company just not using you properly? It's the company, isn't it? At the end of the day, you know, it's the company that sets what you do so if the company isn't using you properly that's the company's fault that one's on the company and the last one i wanted to address is this whole issue about working from home makes you isolated why you're working from home you're not under house arrest go out get a hobby do some work for charity get involved in local causes no one is stopping you if your entire social interaction is based on you going into the office and being with your work colleagues, that is not healthy. Get out, meet other people, explore things. There's a cost for living crisis. Here's a thought. 
Go join a food bank. Help out there. See how others are struggling. Do what you can to help people. There's so many options here. There's so many things that we can do around working from home to both help people that are working from home and to reduce this cost of living crisis by promoting work from home. Last argument I'll talk about is uh, the one given by a lot of the politicians about how companies are going to go bust if they don't have people coming into the office. I'm going to call crap on that one. And here's why. What companies are they talking about? Are they talking about small companies that only have that one coffee shop or lunch place or whatever? No, I think they're talking about the big multinational companies. Your Starbucks, your Costa Coffees. These guys have coffee shops all over the place. Now, if one has a problem, then the others can help step in and, and bulk up the, the money from the one that's losing money. I don't see this as an issue. If you are talking about this one single coffee shop, then surely by converting the offices into flats, you encourage people, you encourage families to come in. They can get business from that. I don't understand where the issue is. I'd love to know about these companies that are allegedly going to go bust if we don't suddenly return to the office. Uh, no one's been able to give me a name of a company that has had that issue. Now, sure, during lockdown, it was a different story completely because we were in lockdown. You couldn't go out if you wanted to. Well, you could, but just to the shops, you know, your, your cafes and things weren't open. It's a different world now. Apparently, COVID is over and done with. It isn't, but that's another argument. So why can't they do something like an eat out to help out for these places? Why can't they offer that? We're in a cost for living crisis. Eat out to help out could actually help people save money on meals. Why is this government doing everything they can to help alleviate the cost for living crisis? And again, working from home is one of the best things we can do to help that crisis. Anyway, these are just my thoughts on this. Um, if you've got yours, I would love to see them. Please post them in the comments below. And uh, thank you for watching.